We drew some conduit, but we had no idea what kind of conduit. We just kind of put it in, and we drew it off of a panel. We don't have to do either of those things. What I want to do is investigate our conduit types. I'm going to go down to my power level one plan. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in on my conduit, but I'm going to take a look at what kind of conduit's available. So I'm going to click on the insert tab, and I'm going to click on load family. Notice that we have a whole category of conduit right here. So I'm going to double click on conduit. I'm going to go to fittings. I'm going to go to RNC. And if we look down through here, there's a bunch of PVC fittings that we can bring in. I know we have a few PVC fittings in our model. So what I want to do is I want to create a PVC conduit system. We don't need to bring any of this in. So I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to select a piece of conduit here. I'm just going to click copy and I'm going to copy it over. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to select this piece of conduit. I'm going to click edit type. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to call this PVC conduit. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start changing stuff up. So my bend, I'm going to click the drop down here. I'm going to grab PVC standard here. I'm going to grab my PVC standards and all of these drop downs. Notice too that we have different types of conduit. So when I click OK, I can select that conduit, and if I hit my drop down, we have a bunch of different types of conduits already. Revit's really come a long way since even 2014, as far as conduit's concerned. So I'm going to select that conduit and delete it. I'm going to go to Systems. I'm just going to click on Conduit. Now I can basically just draw my conduit pretty much anywhere. This conduit's nice and flexible too, because I can come in at a slight angle. It works pretty well. What's nice about conduit two is if I have this piece of conduit here at 3048, this one's at 3048. So if I select this piece of conduit, select my grip and intersect it, what happens is I get this nice junction box. I'm gonna select my call out and I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. I'm gonna hit escape a couple times. I'm gonna double click on my call out now we can see that we can route our conduit pretty easily. If I select this conduit here, it's only 53 millimeters. So if I hover over it, hit tab, and select just this run of conduit, and if I click the drop down here, I can make it big. I'll make it 155. Sometimes it gets too big and we have to disconnect it. We delete elements because of the size of the bends. Now remember, the conduit you're modeling, the size really depends on the bends. So if it blows up like this, don't get frustrated. It's just a fact that your bends didn't quite work out. So I'm gonna hover over this conduit, hit tab, select it all and delete it. I'm gonna delete these two pieces of conduit. And if I select this box, I can right click. I can draw a conduit off of this. It's that big giant conduit. So I'm gonna pick a spot right about here. I just make sure I have plenty of clearance for those big, huge bends. So that's how we configure conduit type.